watching television, you might see some of the pros, I was one of them, when they sprint, especially if they lead, they sprint with their heads down, like this. The advantage, you see what's behind you, and we are on locked up roads with other professionals who know how to sprint. It brings you an aerodynamic advantage, but uh, you might not be sprinting with pros, so uh, keep your head up. So you probably all heard that uh, your pedal stroke is quite important. But uh, if you are in a sprint and you have to think about how to pedal, you lose concentration on other important things. So I'd say, let it happen naturally, just go for the line, give it all and do your best. To win a sprint is usually experience, physical strength, but it could be equipment as well. Twice the speed, four times the wind resistance. So if you are thinking of getting a new bike, try one of the new uh, aero frames which are on the market. Make sure they're stiff enough, especially in the steerer and in the bottom bracket. And uh, that might shave a watt or ten of your sprinting performance. So if you're more a sprinter than a climber, well don't go too much for lightness, go for aerodynamics. There's good equipment on the market and that might help you to win the sprint instead of settling for second. Well, and speaking of second best, make sure before you start your sprint, you really want to win. That's probably the most important. When I was a pro, that was my job and I had to. But even now, as a leisure sprinter, well, if you go for a town sign, I really want to be first. And uh, yeah, so should you. And probably the most important thing of all, experience and practice. The more sprints you win, or the more sprints you lose, you will learn. You will keep on learning, you will keep on getting better. So make sure you throw many sprints into your training routine, ideally with a couple of others. And uh, if you keep winning all the time, well, just look for better opponents because there's always somebody in this world who is faster than you. There's more of the same coming soon. So don't forget to click subscribe. And let us know what you think of the series so far in the comment section below.